Call yourself conservative. Call yourself sin. Call yourself moderate, liberal, or progressive. You can call yourself a Christian, Muslim, or a Jew, and claim to believe everything in your Bible is true. Want peace like a river to roll down in your soul. Gotta be a little more. Want Jesus to forgive you. You can hesitate, meditate, levitate, hallucinate, and try. Every single lie someone says is true. You want peace. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On my left is a Mr. Ed Skerdich, a special co-host of Humanity Matters, and I myself is Ben Ramirez, a special co-host of Humanity Matters. And now our host, Mr. Albert Tricasso. Hi everyone, and it is actually Humanity Matters, but that's okay, we all are doing well. Uh, it appears that, unfortunately, I had some other guests that were gonna be here, and you know that I've been telling you that I have a history of scaring people. I, I think the Freddy Krueger in me may have come out again, but you know, I wanna just say this to our friends that could not make it for whatever reason. I think they were either tired or nervous or what have you. Uh, they're guests from Korea. And I want to say this, hopefully you'll watch this in the future. I can certainly understand being tired. I can certainly understand being nervous. I want to reassure you that if there's ever another opportunity for you to be on this show, you will be comfortable. And I promise you, if there are any mistakes that you feel that you make or that is made, you have nothing to worry about. Stay comfortable. It's like being in your own home, and if you make a blooper, fine, because I make bloopers all the time. I want you to know that you're welcome anytime, but being that you were tired or what have you, we're going to pick on Ron a little bit about that. But I just want to say, in all seriousness, I do a show on talk shoe like you wear your shoes. And it, what you do is it's, uh, you would call in 724-444-7444. And it's an audio, so you're not on TV, only your voice. Audio show, we can do this around the globe. So whether you're in Korea, uh, Mexico, Italy, Russia, Ukraine, um, anybody pick a country, anywhere on earth. All you need to know is that at that particular time, whatever time zone it is, you will be on. But I want to make sure that Ron does mention the guests that for whatever reason did not make it, they're tired, apprehensive, that's fine. And I'm glad that you're here in America. And I want you to know, I understand that sometimes people get nervous. But y'all would have, you, all of you would have done well, and you will continue to do well. And without further ado, let's bring on the guy who's gonna be on a hotter seat than being on 60 Minutes. We're gonna go with 240 Minutes for Ron Gatos! What's the reason they weren't here? Not just teasing. Oh, they just had such a busy schedule, they, they <laughs> couldn't make it. Yeah. Well, how about you do something? Why don't you mention all their names so that they sure, are technically yeah. here even though they're not here? Well, they're, Think of them as being invisible, but they're yeah. here. Well, here they are. Yeah. Well, there well, they are. How are you doing? Well, he, someone will hear about them. They're uh, part of a rotary exchange. The Rotary right. International Foundation pays every year for every rotary district to exchange professionals. Usually a, a rotary member leads a team of young professionals. And okay. They could be... 
uh, anybody. So this one, we had, we decided to do it on green building and development. So right. We, these are two architects, right. two engineers, All a right. designer, um, and they were, they're looking around the town. Uh, all over town, so that's okay. for another reason why they just, uh, yeah. They're a little of, bit tired. Yeah, they're too tired, tired to come right. in tonight. A little bit yeah. tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been treating yeah. them well? We have. We, all right. Probably, yeah, that's and, all uh, town. Lots of meetings, lots of feedings. <laughs> okay. well, really good meals. Me we've anything. I'm starving. Oh, well. No, so, yeah. You deserve so it's that. been good. They're just uh, delightful people, really good well, to know. Well, you didn't so say happy. their names. Yeah. Well, first, this, the team leader is Sun Yi Song, a, a civil engineer who owns her own firm back in Seoul. Um, Enjin Shin, she's a designer, um, and she lives in Seoul as well. Jong Sik Park is an engineer who works in logistics in Busan, which is the port city in the southeast of, of Korea. Sora Park is an architect, as well as Insung Park. She's an architect too, and they're both. Insung, uh, uh, Zora works in new construction. Insung works in rehab, so she's really interested in what's uh, going wow. on in, in our, with our older architecture here. Well, if they're up to it, when they get back home, I know that they all live in different parts of the country of Korea. If you can communicate with them, uh, I'd like to have one or all of them do a talk to you podcast and that's audio mm -hmm. so no reason to be nervous and also I don't know if this is possible but if there's any kind of language barrier if one could have a translator also call in you know when we do being yeah. that it's it's on the internet a lot of people can get free phone calls through voiceover internet protocol what have you it's called so in any case, let's try to do that, set up a podcast on this topic and the Rotary Club and other topics. And maybe we can draft Dave Nyhauser also to do a separate podcast because being that we have an hour-long program format, we're probably not going to get 94%, well, probably about 50% of what we want in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start off with, uh, I would like Ed Skirtish, to ask either you or Dave a question. Neither Ed nor Ben really know what the topics are, so maybe the best way to let them know is tell us your background, mm -hmm. and then they can try to come up with a question. We'll have Ed ask a question, Ben ask a question, Ned ask a question, Chris ask a question, and those are the nice questions. Then. Mr. Tough Guy coming to yeah. play. Oh, I look forward to that. I didn't know this was uh, it's, it's grill time. I didn't know, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know everybody out there in Pittsburgh the and around lights. the, around yeah. the uh, country likes to do barbecues. You're looking at a couple right. of people that are going to be fried it's a or roast. grilled. It's a roast. That'd be all right. That's great. But Ed, um, you might Perfect. want to tell Ed now, <laughs> tell us a little bit about, tell Ed a little bit about what you're doing right now so that he can ask you or Dave a question. And then, he can ask you a question, and then Bed can ask Ron a question. You know, being about bingo, okay. bango, bingo, okay. swingo, smango, okay. whatever. Mix it up. Oh, really? Forget about it. Right. All right, I'm something up. It's a, it's a free for all. Sounds, Albert. Hey, uh, so I'm uh, Ed. I'm Dave Nienhauser. We met, yeah. uh, just met recently, right? Uh, I'm uh, working on a campaign right now called Pennsylvania Wants to Work. Uh, Pennsylvania Wants to Work is a, a, an effort of the Pennsylvania AFL-CIO and the Allegheny County Central Labor Council. Um, uh, we're working on uh, organizing unemployed workers, uh, making sure they're hooked into the resources that they need uh, you know, to get through tough times, th uh, th them and their families, and also into the movement for uh, good jobs and a fair economy. Uh, we have a lot of unemployed folks in Pennsylvania still uh, nationally. We, obviously, we, uh, we're still struggling to, uh, with the economic recovery. Unfortunately, it's reached a lot of the guys at the top, the, the folks who caused the recession, the folks who crashed the economy, the big bankers, the oil companies, uh, CEOs, big businesses are doing fine. They're making record profits. But so many of our uh, families, so many of us are still struggling, waiting for that recovery to reach us. Uh, so what we need is to stick together, stand together, make sure that we're all getting uh, connected to the resources that are available, whether it's uh, you know, uh, help finding work, uh, we just did a volunteer day of action at the food bank, the Pittsburgh Community Food Bank, which was great about a week and a half ago where 25 of us, our PAWW folks, turned out, Pennsylvania Wants to Work folks, helped the food bank, um, which also, of course, helps unemployed workers in our region. Mm -hmm. um, 
So that's the kind of stuff we're working on. But we're, it's, it's really a movement of solidarity of workers who are really under attack on a lot of fronts where we have to stand together and fight back. Okay, Ed, and what would your question for Dave be at this point? Um, I would like to ask you know, about the great work that you're doing. Uh, uh, how effective is the work, and what? how can we help the politicians get the people working? How do we get folks back to work? Right, how effective yes. is the work, and how do we get people to get, what was that part, second part? How to get politicians, politicians to listen, to get I guess. Yeah. People to work and listen get to people, us. Politicians get people work. Well, I, I would say that um, you know, when you're up against you know, big money forces like we are, you know, we have so, so much big money control of our politics over our, our politicians, that the only real uh, thing you can do, what, what you need is people power. You need people standing together to fight back. And when we, do, when we stand together, it's extremely effective. Uh, for instance, last week we had a bill on the state level, House Bill 916, which was a comprehensive attack on unemployment compensation uh, in Pennsylvania. It would have really gutted uh, unemployment, made it more difficult for many, many people to access benefits. It would have lowered uh, the amount of benefits for folks. But we really got out there early with our message uh, that this was the, uh, the wrong priorities, that this was really a bush, uh, bill that was being pushed by big business uh, by the Chamber of Commerce in Pennsylvania. And we got out there really early, really mobilized our folks, not just our campaign, but you know, uh, standing in uh, coalition with many groups across the state, got our message out. And really that bill, did, it was defeated. It did not move in the House. So that goes to show you that when we stand together as, work, as working folks, as regular people, with strength in numbers, we can have a serious impact. Um, in terms of putting folks back to work is really what we need to do. But what we need to do is see some really share, some shared sacrifice. Right? What th these guys at the top are uh, not, be not paying their fair share in taxes, frankly. But on a state level, Marcellus uh, drillers are getting off scot-free. You know, they're they're going to come in here, do a lot of drilling, make a lot of money. They're not being asked to pay anything, uh, anything in taxes, anything to support the communities, to support the state, to, to help you know, uh, 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 mitigate any of the damage that they're going to do. But more specifically, when these big corporations are getting away without paying taxes, that's money that we could be really putting directly into uh, infrastructure projects. We could be taking, we could be taking uh, resources and putting folks directly to work. Uh, that's something we really need to be doing. You know, we have crumbling, outdated infrastructure that we could uh, have folks uh, on program, you know, go, uh, going to work uh, addressing that, those uh, infrastructure issues, you know, right now. But we have to commit to it and we have to have the resources and the, and the big guys at the top have to step up and, and be a part of the solution. Yeah, that's really great. Um, I really think um, the government has to really step up and help all of us with employment and listen to what everyone says on this panel. Um, it's important to work. Um, working is really great and uh, for several reasons. Um, well, that's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I guess it's time for Ron to kind of let Ben in on who Ron is. He's the guy that lost my people. I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. But uh, So he can ask you a question then and that will ask one of you a question, then Chris, then, then the party's over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, but you know, I, there's got to be some tough guy on Humanity Matters. I mean, Humanity Matters, but still you got to open up a can of whoop butt sometimes. You know, without a can, what are you going to do? I'm ready. Uh, are you ready? Let me well, tell you a little bit about on, myself. Yeah. Okay. Here. We're wasting night time. So my, my, I was on the, uh, on the TV show listed as a community leader. I do several things. Um, I'm, I'm an economist. I, I uh, work for a research organization uh, nationally. Um, I work, uh, I'm on the board of a group called Community Technical Assistance Center, which helps communities get what they need to know and, uh, so that they can help bring back their communities, improve their communities in uh, various ways. Uh, I'm, I'm, I mentioned I'm with the Rotary, and Rotary works internationally. They've uh, worked on a polio eradication program. They also work on, um, and that's almost done um, because of uh, a match, matching funds by the Bill Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to really make it happen. It's down to four countries, but the immunizations still need to happen so it doesn't come back. Uh, also, Rotary works locally. Um, in fact, my club works with the kids around Braddock who um, uh, we w work with a Carnegie Library. We work with um, 
uh, youth and literacy programs. We help the uh, uh, Pure Water for All campaign, which uses this, the ceramic studio in the Braddock Library to be able to make um, standalone water filters for areas that have had emergencies or don't have water facilities to help themselves. And I work in my, my own community uh, called uh, Squirrel Hill over in Pittsburgh uh, just on uh, I'm, I'm going to be a tree tender I'm taking my tree tender class in okay. a week or so um, those what are the, the kind of things I do tree tender. Oh, well, well there's tree 80 thousand tree, street trees in the city and okay, we're going to be help helping keep helping keep them up yeah and okay. um, I ran a video contest this spring that was uh, on uh, progressive action which just means what do you want to do to what do you want to say to help make uh, life better so okay. we're going to do that again next year Okay, well, that sounds good, and I'm going to win next year. <laughs> you like that? Go for it. All right, well, anyway, Ben, your question, and then after that, what we're going to do before we get to you, Annette, uh, we're going to need to have you, well, when you do come on, I want you to do all the hellos. Do you have the list? No, I remember it. I hope you remember it. So you'll say all the hellos, and then you'll get the call for Donna. So right after Ben, we're putting you on the grill. So, are you ready to be grilled? Yeah, I uh oh, I fell apart. Okay, I think I'm still here. <laughs> All right, Ben, your turn. My question for you is, sir, that where do you see your organization within five years, or more importantly, within the first year or so of uh, starting this organization? And how do you think the effects will be to future generations of uh, the communities that you will serve? Where do I think it'll be in five years? Yes. Um, well, uh, as far as, as Rotary goes, polio will be gone, and we can start working on clean water for everybody uh, throughout the world. And um, also, um, the, the uh, Peace Fellows program that Rotary also runs uh, will have successfully uh, trained people to work throughout the world in conflict resolution. That'll be another thing. Um, and um, that works at home and you know abroad. So okay. Maybe. Now I have a side question. Then we gotta yeah. get to Annette. So I'm gonna make this real quick, uh, real quickly. What are the requirements to become a Rotary Club member? Do you have to be a man, woman, working, non-working? Does it matter? What's the what's, rundown? What's really great about it is this, it's a quirky bunch of do-gooders. I don't think that's the official definition, but okay. it really is. It's to people from. I can tell. Uh, 35 plus 30 plus okay. most of the time because right. that's when people start they're Terrible. they're they're, sep they're they've you know they've set, set in their ways. Uh, they're not so not set in their ways sometimes but they've got enough time then okay. you know, maybe their children are older and they right. they've started to really get going in the community where they are um, show up. <laughs> Other than show up. It's not expensive. Some clubs, you basically, it's, there's a meal involved, so you okay. pay for the meal in different right. clubs. It's a few bucks. So it's men and women? Yeah, men and okay. women. Women have been in Rotary since 1988. So uh, this is just, uh, just, just one important question. So I imagine that they would take a werewolf instead of a human. You be all right, I still can get in there. I, I, I've never seen any restrictions. Right? Okay, good. Because I'm going. Get, if I want to get in the Rotary Club and the Lions Club and the in the Kayas or guy, uh, club, our, our club, Korean club. friends would like to like the the, in, the, in, the incidents of all the animals clubs, eagles and moose and yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. You know, in the Chinese zodiac, guess what? I'm a dragon. There you go. And Actually, I do have that's a question. Big style stuff. All right, well, we're going to make it quick because we got Donna in, in the net. How do you personally feel about the? Um, about the effects that dwell in your uh, personal soul about all the things that you've done for helping not only yourself but only but also for people out there as well. How do I feel? How how has it affected me? Yes. How has it affected you personally, mm -hmm. as well as your friends um, who you speak with every day? Um, because Rotary has such a broad constituency, I see many many more points of view. It's pretty easy to to for people to just. Uh, gang up with people who think like themselves, but it's still a pretty broad constituency. So um, there are conservative people, there are liberal people, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's one thing that it, it just um, helps me to see other points of view much okay. more easily. Um, and um, that it's, it is important for me to contribute. Okay. I'm, I don't feel like enough is going on in my life unless I am, and that's uh, it was good well, for me to find out. 
I'm going to have a, a kind of a follow-up question for you and Dave on that line if I get to it today. But right now, we are going to Annette. She's going to do the hellos, yo-yos, and the condolences, and what have you. Then she's going to get the call and speak to Donna Weiss. And we also need to make mention that Kathy Payer is not here today because she's going through some medical challenges and has a high pain level. And that's why she's not here today for everybody out there. And eventually we're going to draft her and, Ka and Donna back here on the panel. And you will be back or else. <laughs> you know, I got to go to the old school. I'm Sicilian here. No offense to Sicilians, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, you got to sometimes go, have a copy. Hey, I'm a different kind of humanitarian. And now to Annette B. Mendel in the house. Well, first, we want to Speak say up and get the microphone, please. They can't first, hear you. First, we want to say hi to Pat Parsons, and we give our condolences to, about her brother Randy, who died, Randolph. That's messed up. And... Um, we want to say hello to Chef Gregory and Cassandra Robinson and Joyce and Jacina over at Popeyes, over at in, the South Popeyes side. in the South Side. And we want to say hello to Rex. And that's all. No, that's not all. What about the young man from McDonald's? At the I don't know fire? his name. <sighs> you didn't give me It's that. Dijon, something like Dijon. I believe it's Dijon. I have it in my pocket. I'm doing the taper. I'll see if I can find it. If I can.